Hi, uh, let's continue uh, taking a look at the computer, what happens when the computer is turned on or after what it called the power on self test. Okay, power on self test has been done by many electronics components, even your camcorder, your computer, your aircon, even okay, your fridge, your microwave. They will also have a power on self test. I'm sure you guys own uh, or operated a printer before. Okay, Bef after you turn it turn the printer on, I don't think you can print it immediately. Okay, it will perform some tests, especially if it's bubble jet or inkjet, which which will move the arms around. Your scanner, for example, it will do a power on self test, move the uh, the image scanner around. So it will take a while for before you can start using it. Just like a computer, when you turn on the computer, right, you don't immediately see your login screen. The reason being is that it has to go through a series of uh, steps called boot up process. Okay, the first of that process is known as a power on self test. After power on self test, the 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 computer makes sure that it has three critical components, which we discussed in the last lab, which is CPU, RAM, and uh, the graphic card. After the power on self test is verified that it has all the critical components, it will continue. It will pass it on to a CMOS configuration. So. Uh, CMOS configuration will find a boot device, which could be a hard disk, which normally in this case is, is a hard disk. But what about uh, if you get a new computer without an operating system in it or no boot device in it? In that case, you must have to, you may have to install a, a operating system. So I'll teach you how you can change the uh, CMOS configuration so that your boot priority for boot devices can be changed. Let's call it boot sequence. Okay, so in our machine, let's uh, try to boot from uh, an installation CD, which is a Windows 98. Of course, it's outdated, but it still works. And we will demonstrate to you how you can install a fresh copy of Windows 98 onto your computer without damaging the existing uh, operating system, which is on a hard disk. Okay, so first we must make sure that it boot from the CD, and we do not boot from the hard disk. Okay, so let's take a look at it. I must.